couldn't understand why anybody would be so against it, except that they didn't like Israel. And then I started to think, well, what if I had an Israeli comedy festival here at Yak Yaks? Would these people uh, want to boycott me? If anything's going to provoke change, if anything's going to provoke dialogue, it's going to be the artists of a country. Canada's a very politically correct country. I mean, even like anti-Semitic people are, are politically correct, you know? Uh, they refer to Jews as Christianly challenged. When I get to a new place, what do I like to do? I like to check out the men and what they're wearing. Get to Jerusalem, there's nothing fucking to look at. Everyone's wearing the exact same thing. Even God's looking down going, I wish I could help you, I just can't fucking find you. There was a line up for the tomb that uh, 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 Jesus hung out in for three days there. I was standing in the line up, I'm like, why are we in a line up? I read the book, he's not fucking in there anymore. I didn't know how incredibly intense the hatred is. I was hoping that this show would start off as awkward as possible, and I think I've accomplished that. That's why you should learn some history before you come here. Sorry, I thought this was Israel. It is. Isn't that how it shows up on the map? If not, <laughs> call the map guy. Get the map guy to fix it. <laughs> We're the comics. We don't fix maps. <laughs> If we inspired anybody here to take an extra chance, say an extra word that they're not supposed to say, then I think we did something great. Right.